Hi everyone from ABC. We're really missing seeing you, um, but thank you for coming on our Facebook page and watching our videos. Um, we've got another one for you today. We're going to finish off the Easter story that Carolyn started last week. I've got some helpers today. I've got Bethany, I've got Isaac, and I've got Hannah. So we're going to keep going with this story. Do you remember all this term we've been talking about Jesus? We've been talking about how powerful he is, how strong he is, how loving he is. And we've been talking about some of the amazing miracles he's, he's done. But last week, Carolyn told us a story that was really surprising. We didn't expect to hear that Jesus had died because Jesus is God's son. I wonder why he had to die. Well, do you know, part of that is our fault. All of us do things that are naughty. All of us do things that disobey our mummies and daddies. And we call this sin, the Bible calls this sin. And what it is, is it's us saying that we're in charge. We want the crown on our heads instead of saying God's in charge. So let's find out, let's go over what Carolyn did last week and let's find out exactly why Jesus had to die. So, I've got three eggs here. One, two, three. Let's have a look inside these eggs and find out what's in them. So, Hannah, could you have a go at opening this blue one for me and let me know what's in it? What have you found? Sticks and nails. Sticks and nails? What do you think sticks and nails might be for, Isaac? The cross. The cross, that's right. Hannah, could you make a cross shape and hold it up so everybody could see on the camera? That's it, that's brilliant. So we learned last week that Jesus died on the cross. The cross was the place where he took a punishment. He didn't deserve it. We deserved it, but Jesus took that punishment. So any time that we see some wood and some nails, we can remember the cross where Jesus died. But that wasn't the end of the story. Not at all. What happened afterwards? Well, let's have a look in this egg and see. Bang. Bang. <laughs> what is it, Isaac? It's a stone for the tomb. What's, yeah, stone for the tomb. Because Jesus was put into a cave called a tomb after he died. That's where his friends put him. And they pushed a big stone across. Uh. Bethany, how many people do you think it took to push the stone across? Lots. Lots of people. So Hannah, do you think anyone could have moved the stone by themselves? Nobody. Because maybe Jesus' body had just been stolen. But no, because there was a big stone that took loads of people to push it across. And Isaac, who stood outside the tomb? Can you remember? Two soldiers. Soldiers, Roman soldiers who were really good at their job. They were guarding the tomb. So nobody could have got in. And yet on the Sunday morning, along came Jesus, followers, some of the ladies who were going to look after him. Now, Bethany, can you open this egg? It's empty. It is empty. Why is it empty? Because when, when the ladies looked into the tomb, it was empty. Yeah, Jesus' body it, wasn't there. We forgot to do the hub bit. The ladies were going to put the herbs, weren't they, on Jesus? That's right. But the tomb was empty. There was an angel outside. And what did he say? He said, don't be afraid. Jesus is alive. Alive, yeah, or risen. We use that word, don't we? Jesus is risen. Don't be afraid. Now that was the best news ever. That meant that Jesus had beaten sin. He'd beaten death. And he was alive again, and he's still alive now, reigning in heaven. So even though we can't meet together at the moment in ABC or at church, even though some people are scared and worried, if we trust in Jesus, then we can have hope and we can have confidence and happiness even now. So let's remember that the whole of the Easter story this Easter time. Let's remember not only that Jesus died, but that Jesus rose again. It's the best news ever. Thank you for listening. We did some songs as well for you. Um, some of our favourite ABC Easter and, and Spring songs. So if you'd like to join in with them, you can do. But for now, we'll say bye-bye and see you soon. Bye! bye. Hey, Mummy!